call it a hard disk because it actually has a hard disk in it. When you open it, there's a hard disk. Is there a hard disk? There's a hard disk in it. Storage and memory both refer to a computer's internal storage space, but they fulfill very different roles. Storage holds all the data, files, and instructions needed to run a computer and let users do their work. Storage is non-volatile, retaining data until you delete it. Memory, referred to as random access memory or RAM, is temporary data access. When a computer boots, it loads the data and applications it needs from storage into RAM. When the computer is turned off, the files return to storage. If a computer only had RAM and no storage, users would have to re-enter all the data and applications they wanted to use each time they logged on. System memory runs much faster than storage, but it's also more expensive. That's why computers usually have a lot less of memory than storage. RAM consists of microchips combined into memory modules. These modules plug into a computer's motherboard and connect to the CPU via a bus. Computer storage devices include solid state and hard disk drives, as well as optical and tape devices. Storage doesn't directly connect to the CPU, but instead runs through an interface, usually either SATA, which has been the standard for years, or NVMe, which reduces latency and delivers higher throughput. There are points where the line between storage and memory blurs. For instance, a technique called paging creates what is known as a swap space on a storage drive. When a computer's memory fills up, the operating system switches files from memory to the swap space to gain more active memory space. Newer technologies, including 3D Crosspoint, Ferroelectric RAM, and Magneto-Resistive RAM are in the works that could erase the line between memory and storage. All right, good morning, class. How are you all doing? All right, so today we want to continue with our studies. In our previous lesson, we looked at what the random access memory is. And we learned that the RAM is a storage device, but it only stores data when the computer is in use. Today we want to look at the hard drive and look at how the hard drive also stores data and compare the two, find some differences between the two and know how they both work in their own unique ways. So what is a hard drive? A hard drive or hard disk drive, also known as hard disk or hard drive, it's a storage device with the function to store all kinds of data, including the operating system, installed software, and the user's personal files. We are talking about the hard drive. This is how the hard drive looks like, and this hard drive is inside the computer system. What is the function of this hard drive? The one and only function of this hand, the one and only function of this hard drive is storage. This hard drive is what stores everything. Hello. This hard drive is what stores everything. In a computer system, this is the storage. Now we call the RAM the primary storage or the main memory because when the computer is in operation the ram is the first storage and the main storage that works with the central processing unit please are you here but when we talk about permanent storage the hard drive is where storage is really done permanently because everything on the ram is temporal after looking at the definition of this, 
we will we will look at the differences between the two and see what we will find this hard drive stores everything permanently it says that the hard disk drive so you can call it hard disk drive there's nothing wrong calling it a hard disk drive you can also call it a hard disk or a hard drive so when you call it a hard drive you are correct when you call it a hard disk you are correct when you call it a hard disk drive you are correct it is a storage device with a function to store all kinds of data so what kind of information is stored on this hard drive first of all this hard drive is what stores the operating system the operating system that runs on your computer is stored permanently on your hard drive very soon we'll have a lesson on operating system and you understand that without an operating system no computer can be used because when you look at computer software the first and the master software is the operating system and so this operating system is installed on the hard drive again we will look at the differences between the hard drive and the ram and we will learn again that when the computer is starting the operating system is loaded from the hard drive into the memory or the ram before the computer starts but this is where your operating system resides permanently also every installed software is on the hard drive all your programs that you have ever installed they are on your hard drive your ram will also store programs but it doesn't store every program installed what would the RAM store? The RAM will only store the programs you have opened. Hello. When you open a program, it is stored in RAM. RAM is what holds programs that are open. And so you need more space on the RAM to be able to open more programs. You may have more programs installed on the machine all right no problem but to open more programs you need more space on the ram and so all the installed programs are on the hard drive are you with me and all open program programs that are currently in use are is are on the ram are stored on the ram because the cpu will load them from the hard drive to the ram did you see that in the video all right also all users files are on the hard drive so what is on this hard drive operating system is here all installed programs are here and all user files what do you mean by user files okay so this computer may be used by someone and the person may have videos the person may have music the person may have documents the person may have project works the person may be doing a whole lot of things and all his personal data are also stored his downloads and everything so this hard drive is the permanent storage of sorry yes this hard drive is the permanent storage of the computer system let me read from here for us to get a better understanding the hard disk drive can simply be called the hard drive or hard disk 
It is a permanent storage device inside a computer system. Every data or information on a computer is stored in the hard drive. It stores operating system, installed programs, every personal information of the user, such as documents, videos, music, pictures, project works, and every other kinds of data. That's what I said. Now, if you open a computer and remove the hard drive, that computer will lose every single information stored on it and it won't remember anything at all. Okay, so that is remarkable. This hard drive, we learned that is the permanent storage or let's just call it the permanent storage of the computer system. I don't want to call it the main storage because this is not the main storage in in technical terms when you talk about main storage or main memory you are talking about the ram but when you are talking about permanent storage then this comes in if you open a computer system and you remove this hard drive you take this hard drive from it that computer will not remember anything when we say will not remember anything what does it mean that means all the documents and data and information are gone all the hidden files and everything are gone all the images and videos and project works are gone all the programs installed on that machine are gone even the operating system running on that machine is gone so this is that so that is how important the hard drive is <clears throat> please are you here that is how important the hard drive is the difference between the hard drive and the ram is that the ram stores data only when the computer is in use you see so that is where you need to try and get some understanding because your ram stores data only when the computer is in use but the hard drive stores data whether the computer is on or off your hard drive is like the warehouse of your computer have you seen a warehouse before or you do know what a warehouse is do you know what a warehouse is what do we do in a warehouse excellent say that again excellent i like that you sound like you you, you really know what you're talking about <laughs> yes so it is where manufactured goods are stored that is how it is that is how it is let me ask you this question do you have a wardrobe maybe or maybe not but do you have a place where you store all your clothes okay so there's a place you store all your clothes but right now are you wearing all your clothes i want to know are you wearing everything every cloth you have okay so that is how the relationship between ram and hard drive is please are you following the hard drive stores everything the computer owns but the ram only stores what the computer is using right now i get in the point what is in use now is stored in ram everything we own is stored in the hard drive that is how it is and very soon we'll be looking at the new technology called a solid state drive or ssd drive that works about 10 times faster than the hard drive due to that modern computers are replacing hard drives with ssd drives 
I want us to outline some of the differences between the hard drive and the RAM. When you are comparing the hard drive and the RAM, the first thing that comes to mind is that your hard drive stores everything. When I say stores everything, I'm talking about everything on the computer or every information. Let me let me change it to every information. Every information on the computer is stored on the hard drive. Now, when you go to RAM, RAM only stores Let me say only because it only stores what is currently running or what is currently in use. Your hard drive stores everything. The RAM only stores what is currently running. Number two, we can say that the hard drive, the hard drive is Number two, we can say that the hard drive is a permanent storage. The RAM is temporal storage. Now, what do we mean by permanent storage, temporal storage? How do we describe permanent or how do we explain permanent and temporal? Now, we say that hard drive is permanent. We say that the hard drive is permanent because whatever is stored on the hard drive will remain on the hard drive until it is intentionally deleted. Whether the computer is on or off, whatever is stored on the hard drive will remain on the hard drive like your usb flash drive or your pen drive every information on your pen drive will still be on the pen drive whether it is plugged in a computer or not if your pen drive is in your pocket do you still have your information on it yes. of course you have your information on it that is what we mean but the only reason why we call this temporal it's not because it can store for five hours or ten hours or one week or one month the only reason is that it only stores when the computer is in use or when the computer is on to be more technical it only stores when there is electricity ram is designed to only store data when there is electricity that is why we say ram is volatile RAM is what? So we call it a volatile memory. Hard drive is obviously a non-volatile memory. Are you following? Why is it volatile? It is volatile because it can only store information when there is power. It cannot store information without power. Or it cannot retain information without power. All the information that will be stored on the RAM, when the power goes off, all that information will be lost immediately because the RAM cannot work without electricity. It is designed that way. Another distinction we'll find is that hard drive is slow in reading and writing. RAM is about 100 times faster than the hard drive. Than the hard disk drive, HDD. It is because of how slow the hard drive is, that is why the hard drive is being replaced in the computer system. And it's being replaced with what? the solid state drive because the hard drive is slow in reading and writing now when we say slow in reading and writing it's not as slow you think 
it is faster than anything you can imagine but as compared to the speed of cpu it is slow before i add more differences i think i want to show you one or two clips and after the video we will analyze and discover more differences between the hard drive and ram and we'll move on to the solid state drive Let's talk about hard drives and RAM. These are two very important components inside of a computer that are often confused with one another. So let's see if we can clarify the difference and understand the purpose of each one. To start in very general terms, hard drives let your computer hold more stuff. Things like music, photos, videos, applications, etc. RAM, on the other hand, basically just makes your computer go faster. That's the simple version. To understand in a bit more detail, let's use an analogy. Let's say your computer is a workshop and the CPU, which is the central processing unit, is the woodworker. To do any kind of work, he's going to need tools and supplies, and he's going to need some shelves to store all these tools and supplies. The shelves in a computer are like the hard drive. They provide lots of space to hold all sorts of items that he's going to want to use. In order to use them though, he has to take them off of the shelf and he needs a place to put them where they'll be right at his fingertips for easy access and immediate use. He needs a workbench. This workbench in the case of a computer is RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. It provides a temporary place to store data while the CPU is working on it. So whenever you're working on something on a computer, whether it's editing a text document in a word processor or touching up a photo in an image editor, that item is first loaded into RAM. It's the computer's workbench. If your computer doesn't have very much RAM, it's like having a very small workbench. If this is the case, it really doesn't matter how skilled the worker is, he won't be able to work very quickly because he'll constantly be making trips back and forth from the shelves to get the items he needs to work. On the other hand, if your computer has a lot of RAM, it's like having a great big workbench. The worker can put everything he needs on it and won't have to make any trips to the shelf. It's important to know that items cannot be permanently stored in RAM. In fact, RAM is wiped clean as soon as the computer is turned off, so that's why it's important to save your documents, which is the equivalent of taking them from the workbench and putting them back on the shelves for storage. Now, the amount of RAM you will need to work efficiently depends on the type of work that you're doing. If you're mostly just using a word processor, you don't need a whole lot of RAM. But if you're editing large images or editing high-resolution video, you'll need quite a bit of RAM in order to work efficiently. Let's take a quick look now at some specific amounts of RAM and hard drive capacity so that you have an idea of what is a little, what is a lot, and how this has changed over time. If we look back to the mid-1990s, a typical computer had, on average, about 1 gigabyte of hard drive space and about 8 megabytes of RAM. 20 years later, those numbers had grown roughly 1,000-fold. So a typical computer in 2015 included about one terabyte of hard drive space and about eight gigabytes of RAM. On top of that, the power of a typical CPU, which is the main processor chip in a computer, had also increased by about 1,000 fold. Interestingly, one area that hasn't increased by such a great margin is the speed of hard drives. Even though their storage has increased by a thousandfold, they can only read and write data about 30 times faster today than they could 20 years ago. It's actually this slow read and write speed of hard drives that most handicaps the performance of modern computers. Fortunately, there's a new technology that has emerged as a replacement for hard drives. It's called a solid state drive, often abbreviated as SSD. It's called solid state because, unlike a hard drive, it has no moving parts. 
these solid state drives are able to read and write data about 10 times faster than hard drives. So replacing your hard drive with an SSD will give your computer a massive performance boost. That concludes this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you have a better understanding of hard drives, SSDs, and RAM. All right, so one similarity we will document is that both the hard drive and RAM are storage devices. If you look at the picture over here, you can see that everything that the workshop owns is stored on the hard drive but we have a bench this bench represents what we are using now or what we want to use now what we want to use now is what will come on this bench whatever we have is stored on the hard drive or the shelf the CPU is a worker in the workshop the CPU is the one who controls everything if he needs to do anything he's the one who will pick it from the hard drive and put on the RAM so we know and we understand that the RAM and the hard drive are both for storage only storage nothing else but why do we say that the more RAM you have the faster your computer will be and it's true if you have more hard drive your computer will not really be fast hello if you have more hard drive space it will not make your computer fast but if you have more RAM your computer will be fast why will your computer be fast when you have more RAM now let's understand it this way hard drive is always a bigger storage and RAM is a smaller storage The reason why The reason why we will call hard drive a bigger storage or a larger storage is simply because when you take a typical computer with 500 gigabytes of storage in 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 the hard drive the ram will have about 8 gigabytes what i mean to say is that if you have a computer that has an average storage of 500 gigabytes 8 gigabyte ram is okay for ram ram is not a storage that should be the same as hard drive that's not the point that's not the point we are trying to make ram is always small and when we talk about having more ram we are not saying that it should be like hard drive because hard drive is always large the storage capacity is big if you have one terabyte hard drive you will be having a maximum of let's say 16 gigabytes of ram and that is really okay so why are we saying that the more ram you have the faster your machine will be first of all we are not comparing the size of hard drive to ram that's not what we are doing but we are saying that even though ram comes in smaller sizes as in storage capacities you shouldn't have a computer 
that is below the requirement the ram size you need will actually depend on what you use the computer for every computer has a function if you use your computer for simple school works and browsing internet browsing and um, music and videos 4 gig is okay for memory please i following 4 gig is okay for memory but if you are someone who uses your computer to do serious it work and graphic design work then you need about 16 gig to 32 gigabyte and so the reason why we are talking about having enough ram will make your machine fast is that if your ram is small it will affect the speed of the computer we have already established that the ram is not what determines how fast the computer is who knows what determines the speed of the computer okay so this cpu is what determines how fast the computer is nevertheless because the cpu is always working with ram if the ram is not having enough space for the cpu the cpu will be slow because every computer needs enough room for everything that is currently happening think of the ram as a place for storing whatever is currently going on so whatever is currently going on must be on the ram and so if the ram does not have enough space then we will struggle to do more things at the same time we will struggle to put everything we are doing on the ram and we will struggle with space because we really have to manage the space and all that affects the speed of the computer drastically anytime you hear that a computer is freezing or slowing down is because the ram is not having enough room but if you have enough space on the ram then the cpu will be free to do everything it wants to do store everything it wants to store on the ram and be as fast as it can be the last time we used cars to explain this and we said that if you have a powerful car and a poor road can you run fast if the ram is not okay no matter how powerful the cpu is it cannot be fast but if we have enough room here on the ram then this will allow the cpu to run at full speed it is also like having traffic on the road if you're on the road and you are driving and the road is choked will you be able to move fast even if you have a power, very powerful car if the road is choked you cannot be fast that is what happens when the ram is small now let's talk about ram and hard drive at the same time because they have a very unique relationship which is probably why people often confuse the two your hard drive is where all of your data is stored when your computer tells you you're running low on space it's because your hard drive is almost full all of the data that makes up your videos, pictures, documents, project files, or the 3D worlds and models that make up a game are all stored here. While hard drives can store lots of data, they're relatively bad at accessing that data quickly. Everything is accessed through a tiny little wire here, and because most hard drives are made up of spinning disks, your hard drive isn't going to be able to constantly give your CPU the information it needs to run certain programs. That's where RAM comes in. RAM is another form of storage. It stores the exact same kind of data as your hard drive, but RAM sacrifices storage space for nearly instant accessibility. Unlike your hard drive, which sends all of its data through a tiny little thin wire, your RAM is arranged in these long, thin sticks that insert into your motherboard. Think about a storage unit. If you have a massive warehouse with only a thin doorway, 
it's going to be difficult to get in, find what you need, and get out if it's kind of spread all over the place. You all have to go through a tiny door. But if you have a long, wide storage shed that's got a big, massive garage composing an entire side of it, you won't be able to store as much, but things are significantly easier to get to. Typically, if your computer has a thousand gigabytes of storage space in your hard drive, it's likely got about 16 gigabytes worth of RAM. Here's where you put the stuff you own but you aren't currently using, and this smaller one is where you put the stuff that you are using and need to be able to get in and out of quickly. When you run a program or a project file, your CPU identifies what parts of data are needed for that program to run, it pulls them from your hard drive, and then it stores them in your RAM sticks for quick accessibility. This is why when you start a new level of a game, for instance, it has to load. Anytime you see loading, it's loading the data that composes that level from your bulky hard drive into your RAM. From a user's perspective, just follow this rule of thumb. RAM allows you to run intensive programs, while disk space allows you to have more of these in programs installed. It also allows you to have more of the data they're referencing, whether it be pictures, videos, or mods. You have to understand that when your CPU is processing, it loads every information from the hard drive to the RAM and it communicates with the RAM. So you can see that the CPU does not do its processing with the hard drive directly. The CPU versus the hard drive but it does that to load what it needs onto the RAM. This is because the RAM is a super fast storage device. Now, let me say that the hard drive is a fast storage device. We said it's slow, but it's fast. It is only slow because as compared to CPU, it is very, very slow. So this is a fast storage device this is a faster storage device and this is a super fast storage device this is extremely fast this is super fast and this is just fast now your cpu cannot be doing its processing and storing its information directly on the hard drive that will slow down the cpu That to slow down the CPU and so the CPU always works with the RAM to exchange data and so let's look at it this way anytime any software is about to run on your computer the CPU will visit the hard drive pick the files for that software and load them onto the RAM. Have you ever heard the word loading before or the term loading before? Loading simply means CPU is copying what we need from hard drive to RAM. That is what loading means. Please, are you here? The CPU is copying the files we need onto the RAM. That is loading. So the CPU will load it. Now, during processing, like I said, the CPU stores every information or every data on the RAM. This is where the CPU does its main storage. This is why the RAM is called the main storage. All right, please. So let's look at it this way. Your hard drive has a large storage because it stores everything on the computer. Every information the computer needs to have is on the hard drive. The RAM only stores what the computer is currently working on. And so it doesn't need a lot of storage. Nevertheless, if it is too small, than the requirement it is going to make the computer slow so don't forget this every data is on the hard drive 
ram has nothing when the computer is off when the computer is turned on the data that the cpu needs to do the current work it wants to do will be copied from the hard drive and stored onto the ram and the cpu will do its processing with the ram and its communication with the ram all right so what i have here in my hand is the hard disk drive we've already talked about the two types of connections and we said this is a sata connection and so when you see this you can see that this is a sata hard drive and then i showed you let me take from here i showed you another one with a different type of connection have you seen this yes so with this type of connection it makes this hard drive an ide or pata so this is sata and this is what pata pata stands for parallel advanced technology attachment and sata stands for serial advanced technology attachment is that okay so this is what explains the two types of hard drives so whenever you are asked to choose between ide and sata the pata is also called ide so when you hear ide this is the ide and this is a sata and we are talking about the connection all right we learned that every hard drive needs two connections power connection and what data, data connection so you you are either using the sata or you are using the pata this is a pata with the pata the data connection is a parallel form and so it is so long like this and this is a power which is a molex power connector for SATA, we use the SATA power connector for power. But this particular hard drive, or these ones here, have both the SATA connector and the Molex. Which means that when you are which means that when you are connecting the hard drive, you can choose to use just the Molex for power and just give the SATA data cable. Yeah or ignore the molex and connect your power through the sata power connector here is that okay all right so when you look at the power supply unit we have several connectors on the power supply unit okay and we've learned that this is a molex power connector and this is a sata power connector and most power supply units will come with both molex and sata at the same time since the molex is kind of getting outdated you should think that modern power supply units will only give you the sata but some of them will come with both the molex and the sata power connector now the reason why they do this is because you may have a device that only has the molex power connector for power and so if you have that your power supply unit should be able to power such a hard drive are you following or you may have multiple hard drives in the computer and you may have exhausted your sata connectors are you with me and so you should be able to use the molex for power so this particular hard drive here the only reason they are giving you to is for you to have an option this does not mean you should power here and power here that's not what it means at all what it means is that you can choose to give power to the molex here connector here or you can just focus on your sata is that okay all right so even though this is a sata hard drive 
I can use this to power it. I can connect it this way and it will work. It will receive the power it needs. Then I'll just provide a SATA data cable here and connect this to my motherboard and this is fully connected. It's going to work. Is that okay? Now instead of using this, this is what we are actually supposed to use. And with this, we'll connect to the SATA port or the SATA connector here. Like this. This is how we are supposed to connect this. I hope you've seen this. And it's supposed to work that way. Now that we've looked at the hard drive connections, what I want to show you right now is why we call this a hard disk drive in the first place. We call it a hard disk because it actually has a hard disk in it. When you open it, there's a hard disk. Is it a hard disk? There's a hard disk in it. It's not like the compact disk, the CD, that is plastic. Or DVD, that is plastic. Have you seen DVD before? Okay. This one is metallic. All right. Now, just like CDs and DVDs, the data on the computer are physically written on this disk. Do you see this plate here? This is the storage. Your data is physically written on this. This thing here is called the actuator arm. The actuator arm. The tip of the actuator arm is called the head. What the head does is to move up and down like this. Can you see this? Yeah. And what the plate does is to spin. Its job is to spin. Now, when it is spinning, and this is also reading this, it is able to access every location on this disk. Because this particular disk has several sectors in cycles. It has several sectors in what? Cycles. As it spins, and this arm is reading this, it's able to access every location on this. This is why we call this the hard disk or the hard disk drive. Apart from that, I'd like to tell you that because of how the hard disk was designed, because of how the hard disk was designed in the first place, there is actually a problem with it. Please are with me. Do you want to know the problem of the hard disk? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now, the problem of the hard disk is not a matter of... Before I tell you about the problem of the hard disk, let me tell you something else. Do you see this one here? One day someone saw this and said, this is a solid state drive, SSD. This is not SSD. When you say this is SSD, it's because you don't know what SSD is. When you look inside this device I'm holding here, even though it is small, it is still having the hard disk in it. It looks just like this, right? Just that like it's small. It also has the actuator arm. It has a head, it does its reading and writing. This one also does its spinning. And data is being stored and data is being accessed. 
I with me. So this is a hard disk drive. It doesn't matter the size. The difference between these two is that the smaller form factor is for laptops and the bigger one is for what? Desktop. That's the difference. You can't imagine this big thing in a laptop. If this is in a laptop, it's no longer a laptop. You can't carry it. And so this is a hard drive in laptops. We call this size the 2.5 inch form factor. It is hard drive 2.5 inch form factor. This one is hard drive 3.5 inch form factor. Are you here? This is 2.5 inch form factor. This is 3.5 inch form factor. But they are both what? Hard drive. Hard disk drive. If this were to be SSD, you are not going to see this design. You are not going to see this plate. So long as you see a plate like this, it is a hard drive, whether big or small. The SSD does not use this plate at all because this plate is actually the problem we are having today hello before i told you that hard drives do not really affect the speed of the computer and that is wrong that is why i changed it and i said the storage capacity will not affect the speed but some computers are slow or most computers are slow or computers are slow in general because of this design that is why modern computers have dropped this design and the hard drive completely and they have gone for the ssd drive so a modern computer using ssd drive is faster than any computer using a hard disk drive and so your hard disk drive can also hinder the performance again your storage does not determine the speed but it can hinder the speed do you get it just like the ram the ram does not determine the speed does it no but the ram can hinder the speed it can affect the speed, right? Excellent. So, I'll talk about the problem we are having with this hard drive. Before I do, I also like to let you know that sometimes this particular disk is just one, like this. There's only one. But this one I'm holding here, there are two of them. This plate, this this disc. There's another one under it, and the actuator arm too. There are two. There's another one also in the middle. So they work in cycle. Let me show you one on the screen, and you understand what I'm talking about. This, this is funny but look at this have you seen what is on the screen this one is having several discs inside one okay it is not always plenty like this okay but sometimes there are two or three discs inside one inside one uh, hard drive so this particular one, there are two of them in it. And this one, there's only one. The next thing I'll tell you before we talk about the problem this gives us is that we don't open hard drives. We don't do this. What I have done here, I only did it for the sake of lectures. We don't do this. Don't go and take your hard drive and open and check. <laughs> whether you have just one disc or two don't do that because we don't do it 
The moment you open your hard drive, it is damaged. This thing is designed in SU laboratories and covered in labs, serious labs. And it is sealed. Air is not allowed into it, dust is not allowed into it. Immediately you open it, it is damaged. Just take it that way. Now, sometimes sometimes we get a problem with this arm. Like this arm, when I when I open this one, the hard drive was not working, and when you turn it on, you just hear noise. The noise was that the arm wanted to move and do its reading and writing, but it was locked down here. It was locked. That's why you on the hard drive and you just hear noise and it's not moving. Sometimes you will see technicians. Sometimes you see technicians open a hard drive and they will fix the problem and the arm is able to move are you here sometimes you see a technician do this but that is only done in cases where in cases where the data on the hard drive is extremely valuable or important and after that is done the hard drive will no longer be used that repair process was only done for the data to be retrieved because immediately you do that you can connect the hard drive and access it it will run you'll be able to open it but when you open it the only thing you are advice to do immediately is to copy whatever you need from it and so there's no technician who will open a hard drive and close it back and give it to someone to use we don't open hard drive if we will open it is because the hard drive is not reading and the technician has detected that the arm is locked somewhere and so the technician may open the hard drive and carefully usually with some goggles and certain devices release the arm make sure you don't touch here as well release the arm and it will, it will be free once it's free, it can be connected back and the data can be assessed. So when the technician was opening the hard drive, he knew the hard drive will no longer be used. But he went ahead and did it anyway because the data, we can't afford to lose the data on it. So he needs to do that so that we can back up, copy the data and leave this just just drop it we are not going to use it anymore so for me i opened two of them a laptop drive and a, and a desktop drive or a 2.5 inch form factor 3.5 inch form factor just because of teaching is that okay now the problem we are having with hard drives is because of its design the only reason why hard drives are being dropped or discontinued or will no longer be manufactured or will get out of the system is just because of how it was designed in the first place. When the hard drive was being invented, this was how the design was. This is what makes it a hard drive. And so no matter how they have tried to improve upon this hard drive 
with the advancement of modern technology it is still a problem because of its design let me explain it this way we know that in the past 20 years computers have advanced or computer technology has advanced rapidly we all know that right 20 years ago we had hard drives the hard drives we had still looked like this in computer technology everything has advanced software has advanced hardware has advanced in so many ways even the hard drive has advanced one advancement is from moving from the pata to the sata another advancement is that the storage space has been improved in the past 20 years like a thousand times there was a time the average computer had one gigabyte of storage and if you had one gigabyte of storage you 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 were the man to have one gigabyte of storage there was a time today the average computer has one terabyte that means storage space has improved a thousand times is that okay so storage space has improved the storage space is not a problem we are talking about the problem we are talking about do you want to know or can you tell me the problem is the speed the read and write speed that's a problem let me tell you cpu speed has advanced through the roof rapidly has advanced so much ram that we've been talking about its speed has advanced so much but the speed of hard drive no matter what they try doing has not succeeded so much it has succeeded just a little but not so much and the problem is not because of any other thing but how it was designed that's the problem because imagine how this disk needs to spin and how this thing needs to move up and down to be able to access the data around this disk so if there's a data sitting somewhere here it needs to spin till it gets to where the head is the head too should get to that location before it can access that data right and it just needs to keep on spinning as fast as possible and this one needs to also read as fast as possible to get access to all the information now because of how this thing works the kind of speed we get from this this process or this mechanism here the kind of speed the kind of speed we get out of this cannot be compared to the kind of speed computers need for the future We learned how fast the CPU is. Do you remember? The CPU can process 2 billion bits of information in one second. 2 billion. The RAM is also super fast. But this one, the kind of speed we need, even if this one spins as fast as possible and this one reads as fast as possible the speed will still not be enough let me tell you they have tried but it is still what not enough so the reason why the hard drive is being discontinued is just because of how it was designed and so the modern storage device does not make use of this system it doesn't use this method of storage it uses a brand new method with that brand new method nothing has to spin 
for its data to be assessed. With that brand new method, data can be assessed instantaneously, no matter where it is stored. With this one, if you want to access any information, first of all, this thing needs to be scanned before the information will be reached or be found. But the SSD drive does not have that problem. The SSD can access every information in just in an instance. Let me show you how the SSD looks like. Please, are you here? I sure you are here because I'm pretty sure we will talk about this again. <clears throat> All right, let's look on the screen now. Have you seen the screen? What you see here is the modern design for modern computer storage. What you see here is a hard disk drive. Can you tell it's a hard disk drive? How can you tell? How can you tell? Hmm? Okay, because of this metallic plate and this moving system with a solid state drive they have learned their lessons and they have changed the design because this design cannot take us into the future are you with me this design even if it is okay for today will not be okay for the future because the kind of IT we are going to do in the future, let me tell you, is going to be unimaginable, unbelievable, unexpected, unreasonable, <laughs> unfathomable. The kind of IT we are going to do in the next five years, you better get ready. And this hard drive, we cannot wait for it to spin. We can't wait. We can't wait for it to spin. This is a new design. This is called a solid state drive. And this is amazing. If you know how this thing works, it's just amazing. So the problem with the hard drive was not because of any other thing, but the design. The design alone costs all the problem are you okay let me read one or two about the solid state drive and then we will end it a solid state drive is a new generation storage device that uses flash memory did you hear that flash memory to store data it is extremely faster than a hard disk drive and speeds up computers significantly due to its low read access times. That means it uses less time to read and write. The read and access time is low. That means it uses less time. Do you want something that uses more time or less time? Less time. So that makes this more powerful. SSD is a new technology that is intended to replace the hard disk drive. The SSD uses a SATA connection just like modern hard drives, but when you open the SSD, the SSD has no moving parts. The SSD does not work like the hard drive. We will talk more about this later. For today, we are just introducing you to the SSD drive. And
you have learned that the SSD was created to be was created to be a replacement for the hard drive. It was created to be what a replacement. That means we intend to drop the hard drive. Let me give you one or two information about the SSD and the hard drive and now you can weigh what is going on and know how long it will take for the hard drive to completely get out of the system because one day it will but right now it has not yet gotten out of the system please are you here hello now because ssd is new even though ssd has no problem with speed as in read and access speed it has problem with space most ssds are very small like 128 gigabyte 256 gigabyte 512 gigabyte most ssds you hear of are just 512 gigabytes or 256 or 128 but this 128 is not enough for a heavy computer user are you with me so now that ssd has come into the system that is a challenge it is having now it has no problem with speed but has a problem with space the storage capacity and so what is happening now is that some machines make use of both ssd and hard disk drive are you listening to me i'm giving you more information some machines make use of both ssd and hard disk drive and some machines some machines use what is called a hybrid drive or the sshd that is solid state hybrid drive so it is hybrid drive or solid state hybrid drive that is sshd i told you that ssds are having some issues with what storage capacity but they have no issues with what speed because of the issues ssd is having with storage capacity and that issue is just because ssd is now starting you see hard drive when hard drive started it started from one gig do you remember what i told you before today hard drive has no problem with space let me tell you hard drive has no problem with space you can get 16 terabyte hard drive 32 terabyte hard drive just one like this it has no problem with space its problem is what hello what's the problem of hard drive the speed the read and write speed is the problem of hard drive right when it comes to ssd speed is not a problem but the speed is the space the storage capacity just because it is now starting right so to solve our problem of speed we have introduced ssd and to also solve the problem of the less space some computers are designed to have both ssd and hard drive now the ssd is what has the operating system and is the master storage and what controls anything related to speed and the hard drive is just for additional storage that has less impact on the operation of the computer so what we need speed for the ssd will take care of it but we have extra space for more storage are you with me by combining that those two by combining those two we can solve that problem of speed and storage are you with me some computers have also decided to use the sshd the sshd is a single device that is designed 
to have both the magnetic the metallic plate and the flash memory in the same box let me repeat that a hybrid drive alternatively referred to as solid state hybrid drive or hybrid hard drive like i told you before it's a storage device that is a combination of an ssd and a hard drive into a single device did you hear that its intended purpose is to bring together the performance of ssd with the affordability and high capacity of what hdds for an improved storage and access efficiency sshd drives comes in come in two form factors that is the 3.5 inch for desktop and 2.5 inch for the for laptops is that okay so we have some that are called sshd or hhd hybrid hard drive or solid state hybrid drive hello when someone says hdd hdd stands for what hard disk drive so you hear someone saying hdd when you hear hdd it stands for what hard disk drive someone will also say ssd when, when you hear ssd what does it stand for solid state drive sometimes we use abbreviations when you hear ram what does it stand for when you hear rom what does it stand for now you are going to be hearing sshd and it stands for solid state hybrid drive this hybrid drive is a single device but has two designs two complete systems within that same case don't be confused about it eh? one can be at the left side here one can be at the right side and the case is just a box around it don't be confused about it but that is how it works it has those two designs or two systems in it and it works fine so it solves the speed problem and it also solves the capacity problem the space problem another advantage of hard drive is a hard drive hello are you here yes. another advantage of hard drive is a hard drive is affordable very affordable ssd is what expensive maybe i should add very expensive do you get it good so the advantages of hard drive is the hard drive the advantages are we have more space and less expensive right advantages of solid state drive is what are what advantages are what high speed and what okay it's high speed but the disadvantage is two disadvantages one disadvantage is what expensive and second disadvantage less space is that okay uh -huh. so now that you have all the facts you can now judge for yourself but then let me add something before we close because of these issues please are you here hard drives too when they started they were expensive and they had less space a time will come ssd will catch up but that time may not be very soon that time may not be what very soon until that time comes when ssds become cheaper and have more storage space hard drive will still be around and so even though ssds have come to replace hard disk drives 
Hello, are you listening to me? Even though SSDs have come to replace hard disk drive, hard disk drives will still be around for some time. Just keep that in mind. This is bonus information. It may take 10 years, but hard drive is not going just yet. It will be around for some time. We'll have another lesson on drives and storage devices and you understand that hello are you here yes. before hard drives took over everything we had what we call tape drives we had what we call what tape drive. hello are you with me yes. are you sure yes. very sure yes. before hard drives took over we had what we call what please we had what we call what tape, tape drives this is a tape and this is a drive just like we have optical disk and optical disk drive okay we have tape drives right yes. now this tape drive some of you came to meet it a little some of you but some of the very very young ones i'm not sure you came to meet it <laughs> it's still in the system good do you remember first of all do you remember the cassette tape for music yes. cassette tape do you remember we had some tape for cassette yes. for audio yes. that was a the technology they were using they used tape for storing data some of you remember the vhs video system we had when we when you want to watch movie you go and buy vhs the movie is on vhs even before DVDs took over, we had VHS. Videos were on cassettes, bigger cassettes, just like the tape cassette, it was bigger. See, this thing, no, this is a VHS. At first, this is what we use for movies. Even before CDs and DVDs took over, we had this. E people don't tell me you don't remember this old. you tell me you don't remember this this is a player vhs player oh my goodness this is how we used to play video oh do you see vhs please do you see vhs this thing was in every household everybody had one of these oh oh come on don't people have tvs in their homes yes. everyone <laughs> in ghana everyone had one of these these drives everyone if you don't have this how will you watch your movies so you buy tv you buy vhs and you have a lot of cassettes the cassettes you put them on your shelf now this thing here is a video cassette system and it uses tape when we say tape do you know what what we mean by tape i'm showing you these pictures because i want you to see that the tapes were like this please can you can you see this yes. this was what was wrapped around the, the the this thing here and it looked like a coil so these are the tapes so there was a time that we had tape drives for data storage and so we had cassettes so if you even if you use computers you store your data on cassettes like on tapes like this magnetic tapes what do you see 160 watt and 320 gigabyte so if you want to read your data you slot it in the tape drive and you access your data now it took some time for this tape drive to get out of the system because when hard drives became very popular tape drives had succeeded in having more space and was very very less expensive this was so cheap that it was difficult to get out of the system and the fact is i'm going to tell you something 
the fact is even today there are some big big companies that still rely on magnetic tape and the tape drive because the amount of data they store every day every day if they say they are buying hard drives or buying ssd drives they can't they can't afford the cost because of the amount of data they store on a daily basis the cost involved alone will not allow them to use hard drives and so today today they still use tape drives companies like tv stations and certain companies that that deal with video footages you know videos take a lot of space if you work in video you know that it takes a lot of space imagine a company that has over 200 journalists who are on the field recording high definition videos every day every day everyone is recording video and they bring it for storage we have better storage systems i'm not saying that but i'm saying that there are some companies that have still decided to maintain the tape system because of costs the tape system offers more space at extremely low cost that is what hard drive is to ssg drive today hard drives have more space and it's less expensive compared to the cost of solid state drive are you okay i decided to give you additional information all right so we'll bring our lesson to a close here on friday we'll look at the other components like the graphics card the sound card and one or two things is that okay yes. so i want to thank you so much for joining me in this class i think we've learned a lot today if you have any question you can let me know in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials.